Warriors on the second leg of back to back games. So we they know you're gonna we know they're gonna be sitting some guys here. The Clippers, they're on a two game losing streak. They are at home where they're actually one of the they're probably the top under team in the league at home. Uh just in general, if you if you've been placing these unders with Clippers games at home, 21, 5 and 1 to the under on the season. They hold their the, the third best defensive rating in the league at home, but also tied for dead last in offensive rating. Uh and they're tied with the Houston Rockets. So that's that's really telling something about how their offense is at home. Uh Clippers at home versus conference teams with Kawhi and PG both in the lineup because they are uh they have been you know without one or the other or even both sometimes so far this season. But when they're at home with both of them in against conference teams, they play up against to their opponent's level uh, on the defensive side of the ball, only allowing 101.4 points per game, four and one to the under there. Uh the Warriors on the other side Typically, they've been an over team on the road, one of the best, uh, more profitable over teams on the road this season. But if we look at how they do on their side of the ball, just specifically on their side of the ball, on the offensive side, they're 0 and 4 straight up, 1 and 3 against the spread on the road versus conference teams with a winning record. So they don't, they're not up to that level uh, uh, to the top tier teams on the West Coast uh, when they play those matchups. They only average 110.5 points per game. Even though they're giving up a good a good amount of points, I'm really focusing in on what I think they can do on the offensive side of the ball, which is not score a ton. On the second leg of back-to-back games as well, we know that they sit some guys, and they are already without Curry. Uh, without Curry in the lineup on the second leg of back-to-back games, the Warriors are 1-3 straight up, only averaging 105.3 points per game. And just in general, without Curry playing on the uh, uh, on the squad, playing on the road versus a team with a winning record as well, 1-6. Straight up, averaging 106.3. A lot of things are just pointing towards their team total under. But I also wanted to include the struggles of the Clippers side on their side offensively at home. So that's why I like a full game under here. I can see both teams struggling offensively. Uh, Clippers, Warriors. When I when I put them together, I just I just feel like uh, it's probably going to go under uh, 220 for the most part. 